Hello everyone, my name is Robert Bomar, and I'd like to talk today about, uh, I'd like to read out a King James Version Bible, and first I'd like to read out a chapter 23, and read <clears throat> verse 6 and 7. But when Paul perceived that one part were said to see the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Men and brethren, I'm a Pharisee. I'm the son of a Pharisee. Of the hope and resurrection of the dead, I am called in question. And when he, and when he had so said, there arose the dissension between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the multitude was divided. Okay, now I'd like to turn over to, this is all to do about Paul, who changed his name from Saul to Paul who wrote all kind of letters to get a lot of Christian people killed and stoned to death. Okay, this is uh, Galatians chapter 1 and uh, verse 8. But though we are an angel from heaven. Now he's talking about an angel in heaven. He says, but though we are an angel in heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. That means he's telling the angel, if the angel comes down and preaches unto you, let him be walk around with a curse on him. That's talking ignorant. They ain't no angel going to be a curse if you're heaven's angel. You got, see, he's a talking ignorant right there. That man's talking crazy. Okay. It says, but though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, than which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. And now it goes, and we said before, so I, now again, he's talking about, he's talking. He's saying, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. So listen to Paul, or you're going to be accursed. Or the angel's going to be accursed if they don't listen to Paul. Well, that don't make sense. So he's talking crazy. Okay, now let's turn over to Second Epistle General of Peter, and we'll go uh, chapter 2. And read verse 11. Whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring no railing accusations against them before the Lord, but these are natural brute be beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. You don't talk about no angel. Don't say, you yeah, see, he's talking crazy. He's I, I, the, he, me, me, not you, you. See, Paul, according to Jesus' words, he says, if, you, if your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the, the scribes, you in no wise will enter into the kingdom of heaven. He just said he was a Pharisee, the son of the Pharisee, and he said if angels will be accursed if they don't listen to him. Now the angels ain't going to be accursed. He's cursed. Well, that's where people ain't listening to the Lord. That's why it says, Search ye the scriptures, and in them hope that you find to have eternal life. He's trying to tell you. Now Peter just said right here in uh, the second epistle general of Peter, chapter 2, verse 11, Whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring no ra railing accusations against them before the Lord. And you ain't supposed to say nothing to them about them. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not and should utterly perish in their own corruption. See, Paul died a Pharisee. Now Jesus is telling you in red words, if your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the uh, scribes and Pharisees, you and, and no wise will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So he died a Pharisee. Now what does that tell you? People, get to put the thinking cap on. See, Paul has misled millions and billions of people because he's wrote all them Pauline letters. See, he's wrote all them. He put them in there. That's why Jesus knew he was coming. See, let me turn on over here and I'll close after I read this. Okay, now this here 
is in Revelations. This is St. John, his cousin, St. John the Divine. This is Jesus' cousin, earthly cousin. Now this here, he's the one who wrote Revelations. Okay, it's chapter 2, Revelations, and verse 2. I know that thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them and say that they are apostles and that they are not and hast been found liars. So he's talking about uh, Paul the apostle, fake apostle. Paul ain't no apostle. He's been found a liar. Now you know a liar, it says in the Old Testament in Proverbs, six things that God hates and as abomination before God is a lying tongue. Now he's a liar. Now don't believe what Paul says. Believe what Jesus says and John. He walked with Jesus. And here's also closing. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 16, 17 and 15, 16, 17. Now here's what Peter had to say. Now Peter walked with Jesus right beside him. And John, St. John. It says, verse 15, In account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all of his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. So he's saying a lot of things is hard to be understood. He's not throwing off on Paul. Paul throwed off on all kind of people in the Bible. Okay, then I'll read on down. It goes, Hard to be understood, which they say are unlearned and un... which they are unlearned and unstable. Rest, that means forced upon you. As they do all of his other scri uh, scriptures in their own destruction. So he's telling you, beware. Jesus said, beware, the Pharisee described. Paul is a Pharisee. He, he bragged. He said, I am a Pharisee. I am a son of a Pharisee. I have lived all of his life as a Pharisee. He was pardoned by Caesar, the one who had Jesus killed. Pilate and Caesar, all the governor, they had Jesus crucified. Now there's Paul. Don't pay no attention to Paul. See, he got in the Bible because Satan is powerful. Satan is of this world. Paul was of this world. He said angels will be cursed if they don't listen to his words. Don't listen to Paul. What you do is listen to Jesus, Peter, Simon Peter, and John, the St. John who wrote Revelations. Now these guys here, them two boys right there, walk with Jesus. Paul didn't. He's saying he did. He's, he's, saying, he's saying he's an apostle. One of the apostles back in Acts was afraid to join themselves with him because they feared, they was afraid of him. And, and uh, feared that he was not a disciple. He ain't. He's not a disciple. He's of Satan. People, listen up. They think because, okay, everybody out there thinks because he's wrote in that Bible and he's labored more than everybody. He's had more stripes than Jesus. He's been shipwrecked and all like that. Oh, yeah. Anybody, Satan can get in the Bible. The devil's all in the Bible. Money, they talk about money all through the Bible more than any other topic in the whole Bible. Now, money's of this world. Money, the love of money's the root of all evil. What does that tell you? In closing today, everyone listen to the words of Jesus and listen to Paul and St. John. Don't listen, uh, I mean, listen to, uh, don't listen to the words of Paul. Some things in there is okay, just like Peter said. Some things is hard to be understood unlearned, rest, unstable. That means crazy. He's talking crazy, in other words. Saying angels be accursed. What you do is get on your knees. Don't listen to Paul. Some things you can listen to Paul, but you better pray about it. He's in there to deceive. Satan's going to deceive this whole world. That's why it says many will rise up and deceive you. Paul's one of them. Just because he's in the Bible, everybody goes, oh, he's the biggest one. He wrote a lot of the Bible. Oh, yeah, he wrote it himself. He was a kin friend to Caesar's. He hang out with a guy that uh, had Jesus crucified, tried to kill him when he was a baby, King Herod. Paul was hanging around with him, read Acts. Best thing to do is get on your knees and pray and say, Lord, I ain't listening to Paul, Jesus. I'm listening to you, I'm listening to Simon Peter, and I'm listening to St. John. Now that's who you listen to. 
You don't pay no attention to Paul, the fake apostle. He can tell you anything. He said the angels be accursed. Well, they're not accursed. He is. He's accursed. The angels in heaven is not. Uh, he told them, in other words, right there, to walk around with a curse on you. He better watch his mouth. That's why he ain't done so good. And don't listen to his words. And everybody, pray for me. And I'll pray for you again. And listen to Jesus, Simon Peter, and St. John. Now they know. They're not lying. That's why Jesus said, Search ye the scriptures, and in them hope you find eternal life. You better listen to what Jesus says. And if your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the scribe and the Pharisee, then you in no wise will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, Jesus ain't, he's going to tell you the truth. Peter is, and St. John the Divine. It, revelations was uh, given to him through a vision. Now, God's given a vision. But anyway, pray for me, and I'll pray for you again, and God bless.